This episode of Unbox Therapy is brought to you by Carbonite. What's up guys, it's Lou from Unbox Therapy and today we're taking a look at the latest generation full-size iPad. You guys know I recently unboxed the iPad mini. This is the full-size model packing the Retina display. Some are calling it the iPad 4, others are calling it the iPad 4th generation. You can call it whatever you like, basically it's the latest gen full-size iPad with the 9.7 inch display rather than the 7.9 inch display. If you guys want me to compare this to the iPad mini in a future video do a full-on comparison, and then make sure to hit the thumbs up down below if that's something you want to see. Maybe I can help you figure out which one is the right iPad for you, whether it's the full size or the iPad mini or maybe something else, maybe a different tablet in general. Anyways, if you haven't subscribed yet, do that now because there probably will be a comparison video coming up shortly. So here is the latest fourth generation iPad. And as you can tell, it looks exactly the same as the last generation. There are some minor modifications I'll get to in a moment. Here's the power brick, which is slightly larger than the power brick that ships with the iPad mini. Of course, bigger iPad, bigger power brick. That's to be expected. You've got a little bit of paperwork from Apple. Once again, incredibly similar to every other Apple product. And you've also got the Apple stickers, which I think you get with every Apple product. If you've ever purchased an Apple product without the Apple stickers, let me know down in the comments because it's never happened to me and I can't remember any at the moment. You've also got the lightning cable, which has replaced the older generation 30 pin connector. So that's a little bit more convenient. And it is the first physical change of this fourth generation iPad or the iPad 4, whichever you prefer to call it. So as you can tell, it's just as sleek as the last generation. You have the aluminum finish on the back, unlike on the mini where you've got, you know, the new sort of anodized look, the black look on the darker model, or they're calling it slate. I should be proper here. Anyways, I'll go ahead and set it up off camera. You've, of course, got your forward-facing camera for uh, 720p video conferencing. You also have your home button, which is on every single iPad, regardless of model. Here you can see I've finally gone ahead and got it set up. You can take a little look at that retina display, and of course, the performance is now improved. This new iPad is packing an A6X processor, which is supposed to be twice as fast as on the previous generation, which seems to be a major improvement when you consider the fact that this just came out, you know, shortly after the release of the last generation. On top, you have your headphone jack, a microphone, and lastly, you have your power switch. Of course, that's also going to be used to turn your screen on and off, unless you're using a smart cover, of course. I've got one of those, too, for the mini that I'll be reviewing, or at least unboxing and showing you, giving you a demonstration of soon. You have the single speaker on the bottom of the unit, and as well, that's also where your lightning port is going to live. Once again, that's the new connector that Apple's using on all of their devices. You have your hold lock switch or mute switch, as well as your volume up and down rocker on the right-hand side. On the back of the unit is where you'll find your rear-facing camera, which is going to shoot 5 megapixels. The same camera, I believe, that the iPad mini is packing. Maybe I'll do a comparison in that actual video. You've also got the Apple logo, as well as the iPad logo on on the back. Once again, the back is done in a nice aluminum finish, which seems to be fairly durable. At least it has been for my past generation models. Really, the big story here is the screen, though. You've still got the very beautiful retina display with tight pixel density, and that's the main thing people are concerned with when comparing the mini to the full size. A lot of people were expecting or at least hoping to have retina quality or retina pixel density on the smaller iPad mini, uh, but how does it really pan out? What does it really mean for you if you're interested in either product, how bad does the mini look or how good does the retina look. I'll be tackling all that stuff in the future, full comparison video, so definitely stick around for that. And as I said earlier, hit the thumbs up button if that's something you're totally interested in seeing. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this content, please make sure to leave a like and favorite down below as it does help out a bunch and make sure to check out our sponsor messaging right now. Carbonite Online Backup is automatic, cloud-based backup for all the computer files that matter to you most. You don't want to be caught off guard. You don't want to have your computer fail and lose everything. And Carbonite is dead simple to operate. In fact, you only set it up once and then it'll do the rest. It'll make sure that everything that matters most to you is synced to the cloud. And that's a good thing because if you have a local hard drive you're backing up to, well, it's not truly safe because if something happens, a catastrophic disaster, a flood, God forbid, and then that local hard drive is not going to hold up too well. Whereas with Carbonite, everything's happening off-site. It's a really smart way to back up, and since it's automated, you'll never forget to back up. If you want to try out the service right now, you're actually going to get two bonus months for being an Unbox Therapy viewer. All you have to do is head over to Carbonite.com and use the offer code 
therapy. That's right. Therapy at the end of your checkout will get you two bonus months if you want to check out the Carbonite service. Not only will you be keeping your file safe, but you'll also be helping out Unbox Therapy. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode.